Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Bernard here with a TV drama review today. Well, TV, we're talking Netflix today. We've gone to Netflix and it's, uh, it's one I've been eagerly awaiting to watch. Um, sort of good storyline, the sort of thing I like to watch. Uh, I like all genres, but I do, I do like a good sci-fi. So we've got a good romantic drama sci-fi. It's classed as this one. And yeah, I'm going to have a look at the simple four-letter four letter title, Away. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button push the bell notifications so you know when these little vlogs are coming out I do uh, movie review vlogs also and uh, information vlogs as well please tell your friends and if you're into football I do little vlogs on my football team here in England here in Manchester there's only one team in Manchester that's Manchester City so uh, please if you know anyone who who might be interested in that please point them in my direction right away yeah it's 10 episodes from Netflix a Netflix original, they call it, don't they? Uh, what's it about? Well, there's American astronaut Emma Green, played by Hilary Swank. Uh, I think she played it quite well, actually. Some, there's some criticism of her. Uh, prepares to lead an international crew on their first mission to Mars. She must reconcile her decision to leave behind her husband, Josh, played by Josh Charles, and teenage daughter Talitha Bateman, played by Talitha Bateman, when they need her the most. As the crew's journey into space intensifies their personal dynamics and the effects of being away from their loved ones back on Earth become increasingly complex. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are querying the family, so the family drama side is saying they wanted sci-fi, but I think we knew, I certainly knew there was going to be an element of family drama, what's happening at home as well as what's happening on the spaceship. So I was a bit surprised for, for the low marks given for, for that reason, you know, that it was it was more... A, more also a family drama, but it's, it's pretty evenly split overall. If I look at the ten episodes, I think it's probably fifty fifty between what's going on with the crew and what's going, what's going on at home. Uh, is it any good? Well, it's obviously early scores. Um, when I first had a look at this, it was only had like four shot reviews in the Internet Movie Database, but there's almost seven hundred now, so it's quite interesting. Rotten Tomatoes, we didn't have anything, but now we've got a sixty-eight percent positivity rating from the critics, which is okay. An audience rating of sixty-six percent again, which is okay. But it's Internet Movie Database, which surprised me. Some of the um, when I first looked, I think there was just under fifty review, fifty scores left, and it was averaging seven point two out of ten. Uh, I just got on this morning before I'm doing this little vlog now obviously it's i'm publishing it today which is the 5th of august, uh, 5th of september 5th of august i'm going back in time uh 5th of september and it's down to 5.8 out of 10 on internet movie database so it's drops uh tremendously and that's based on 694 people leaving scores as and when i'm doing this so a lot of people have got a, a bit of a downer on it um, some of the some of the headlines, if you like, some of the comments on Internet Movie Database. Long story short, watch it, so they liked it. Too many cliches, someone commented and went on to say, I want to see space drama, not family drama. Yeah, that's echoing what I mentioned before. This space mission seems to be doomed, and after the first episode, I really don't care what happens to the characters. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? But there you go. Hilary Swank in top form, so someone enjoyed her. Boring, someone else wrote. Clichéd, slow, poor execution. Worth the watch. So as you can say, a lot of <laughs> you got polar opposites on some of these comments, haven't we? Weird old mouths. Yeah, there's a little bit of sync problem early doors. I didn't notice it so much later on. Um, I didn't. I'm, I'm not gonna uh, lie to you and say I, I was. My eyes was up and on the screen all the time. I, I watch a, a lot of these films and I listen to a lot of these films and sort of watch if anything actually happens. But uh, yeah, there was a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of weirdness with the mouths. They didn't quite match up in some of the early episodes, but I think they may have sorted that out as it went along. So it's a bit a bit odd to see in such a production. Uh, disappointing. Someone else commented, Hilary Swank, really? So obviously someone didn't like Hilary Swank there. Oh boy, no one bothered to consult a real astronaut. Well... But it's, it's entertainment, isn't it? I mean, I say it all the time, don't I? But if I want a documentary on, on real space flight, I watch a documentary. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, you want some realism to it, but uh, it, as far as is concerned, Netflix are producers to entertain people, so there's uh, plenty of poetic license going to be taken. Bring on season two, someone else wrote. Yeah, I believe there's no conf confirmation of a season two yet, but it is uh, hinted that there will be. 
uh, some accuracy problems, heart in the right place. Yeah, I think that sort of sums up my feelings on it. Of course, it's, you know, with, uh, with what's happening, there's, there's some problems with it. But yeah, it, it did mean well. It did mean it aimed to entertain, and uh, I, I think he sort of got away with it. Obviously, I'm going to give you my little thoughts now. Answer my movie game nostalgia thoughts on a way. Yeah, I mean, early, as I said, early reviews are very positive, uh, but uh, that. As at now, as I'm recording this, there's a lot more negativity coming out from people as more and more people watch it. Yeah, I thought the acting was okay. I thought Hilary, Hilary Swank was very good as the lead. I, thought, I do enjoy watching Hilary Swank and I, I have no qualms with the younger actors or, or anything in this. It's uh, it's okay. Some of the, if you like, there's a China influence and a Russian influence, Indian influence. So, I mean, obviously, some of, the, some of the acting of the families, which only take a very minor role anyway of the families, it's, it's obviously Hilary Swank's family that features, uh, the character of Hilary Swank's family that uh, features mostly. But obviously, some of the other characters, the acting isn't fantastic with some of them, but it's very, very minor parts anyway. But, uh, yeah, the main, the main acting's pretty good. The opening episode I thought was excellent. I thought it dragged in. Someone said before they got they, they turned basically they thought episode one was stupid. But uh, yeah, I mean allow, allowing for the facts of certain things, I, I thought the opening episode was excellent. I mean um, it sort of doesn't quite live up to the opening for certainly as it sort of gets to say halfway through the ten episodes. But uh, yeah, the opening one sort of dragged you in, and I say it, it did uh, did promise a lot, although it did did sort of dip a little bit. But I think it climbed up again as, as it progressed through. There's lots of cliches, causes. There's lots of the, the personal stories of the astronaut, astronauts and the left at home families are, are pretty formulaic of problems you get with any sort of families, you know. Uh, and obviously, you're talking relationships, etc., etc. So there's nothing new there in that. And we're told that we get it's fleshed out with told through flashbacks and stuff. So obviously, uh, that's how they do it. Uh, it is a little hard to believe that such an ill-matched bunch of astronauts, certainly when this ep this series kicks off, astronauts and scientists have already been put together for such a mission. And in fact, that the mission would carry on, someone did comment on the reviews, all the problems they had early doors with this. I mean, they would have called the mission off, surely. But uh, yeah, there's lots and lots of problems going ahead and uh, with the astronauts and on the ship, ships, etc. And obviously there's events happening at home that would have a psychological effect on the astronauts that may call a, call the mission off as well. So, yeah, um, obviously these psychological problems are all there. The crew's, the crew's falling apart very early doors. I mean, there's no, no loyalty there between the crew. Um, so, obviously, they've started that way on... Uh, and let's be honest about it, we know, don't we? I, I know from watching many, many dramas that if, if something starts angrily it's going to sort of end up okay and if something starts okay uh, it's going to end up going you know turning sour so yeah I mean this is how they wanted to play this which is fair enough I would have rather the crew started off all buddyish and all okay and obviously we saw the cracks appearing as, as and when the uh, the series moved along which would have been better in my opinion but <laughs> that's the way they did it they did it with a with a cranky crew to begin with so it's hard to believe that NASA and its associates Chinese people and the Russian air space agencies would have uh, allowed this lot to take off the the way they were sort of not very not very friendly with each other to begin with Anyway, but I say that's that's part of the part of the fun. That's part of the entertainment of the series. Yeah, I mean things got a little bit slow, probably from about uh, as I say, the first episode was really good. Episodes two, three, and four at the moment, but they're a little bit slow, and um, it's only perhaps the, the lives of the. I mean, the lives of the families, the the commander's family, Hilary Swank's family, not very interesting. Not really that interesting to me early doors, but it does. Again, it does liven up with, with those as well. You know, you you've got a young girl who sort of falls for a boy and all the all that goes with it. So as I said, it's very formulaic. Um, but then we have sort of Christmas comes along and we do have start to have life and death situations which I thought we would get more of anyway and this is what we really want in a sci-fi drama we want to, want, want to be on the edge of our seats seeing what's going to happen on the spaceship to these people uh, some of the audience appeared to turn off by four then unfortunately some of the audience didn't sort of quite, quite make episode four and five by looking at some of the reviews which which is a shame because uh, the latter episodes do do improve the overall series in my opinion uh, yeah the whole series is going to stand or fall on what happens to the astronauts nice yes it's nice to see family developments back home but the trip to mars is the whole point of the drama and initially we need a little bit more than, than we get perhaps and that's why it turned a lot of people off who were complaining about there's too much family drama and not enough space drama but as the problems 
at home increase, also the problems in space increase. So you do do get two sets of tension which sort of offset against each other, which is quite goes quite entertaining. Uh, as with the excellent if you want, obviously, uh, it does make me want to go back and watch Apollo 11, obviously the Tom Hanks uh, thing. Uh, we do want something like that, don't we? It's the best bits of that is when something goes wrong and they've, either, they've got to actually sort it out on the on the spaceship itself or someone at Mission Control is asked to sort of scientists put their heads together and sort it out. They're, they're the best storylines. That's the sort of thing I wanted to see. And as the thing goes along, we do get more of that aspect of it, which, uh, which I thought would get, a lot more of but i say it certainly certainly does build as the as the uh, uh, series goes along i was hoping for a cross between martian and apollo 11 and although it didn't quite reach anywhere near the quality of those two movies it's not it's not as bad as some people are saying yes i mean you can there's so many so many dodgy things in it but as i say to, to entertain it certainly does entertain and some of the scores are quite low and a little bit unfair and i think some of them did stop watching and that's the problem of the of the makers isn't it i mean you've got to keep people engaged so that's probably part of the problem as an entertainment overall i think it just about does the job some scenes are a little bit far-fetched, some, scenes are, some things are silly. As I say, the, the, the actual relationship between the, the astronauts and scientists is just seems is, is, is just silly to me how it starts off. It justifies, it justifies 10 episodes, it flew by. I mean, a lot of these things, you think, oh, they could have done it in six, but I think they filled the 10 episodes quite well. As I said, the, there was a little bit of bit of filler in episodes two to four, but there's a bit a lot of backstory being introduced, etc. Which uh, so you got to know the characters. So that's probably why it slowed down a little bit. Um despite early reservations about the characters on board on board the craft and on back on Earth, I, I sort of didn't really warm to them initially, but by the end of episode ten I sort of looked for I, I quite liked them. I didn't I didn't mind the guys on the spaceship and I didn't mind some of the families at home, you know, I didn't they sort of grew on me a little bit. There was one or two and it didn't quite grow on me, but uh, yeah, I was sort of interested in the characters and and it did make me look forward to to a season two. I do want to know what's going on where obviously based on what happens in season one, you're going we're gonna expect a bit more of the film Martian in the theme for se series two, I think again with the same sort of problems and family entanglements are gonna progress. We've always seen already seen hints at things that might happen within this series, which is how as it should be with these seasons. I mean obviously it's so hopefully gonna carry on for a, another season if if not a, a couple or more after that because I was I was thoroughly I didn't I did find it entertaining as I said it uh, once it got through it's a little bit of slowness at the at the mid midpoint just before the midpoint it did liven up so yeah I'm going to give it a little rating better than what it's showing on internet movie database at the moment uh, I'm going to give it a six point five out of ten which isn't gushing but it's it's certainly better than watchable in my opinion as I said. I'm not too worried about the inaccuracies and the silliness of it all. I just, I just want to be entertained for 55 minutes per episode. And, and that's what it more or less did. I sort of binge watched it over a day and a half. I sort of watched uh, six or seven episodes and I watched the final two or three the day, the, this morning. I watched the other six or seven yesterday. So it's a nice little binge watch as well. I never I never got bored with it, even as even even the slow points. I was still, still kept along. I still kept going and kept watching it. Anyway, if you get to watch this, let me know what you think. Am I being generous with 6.5 out of 10, or do you think that's about fair? I mean, I nearly went. I, nearly, I wouldn't have gone for a 7. I mean, obviously, I was anywhere between 6 and 6.5, but it's certainly better than watchable, in my opinion. But as I say, it does have its detractors, and I'm not surprised. You know, if you watch this and say it's the biggest load of rubbish you've ever seen, then, then fair enough. It's just uh, everyone's opinion, isn't it? And I said, at least it kept me entertained. I quite liked it. So that's the way, which is now showing, obviously, on Netflix here in the UK. Please check your territories. I assume it's being shown on Netflix uh, wherever you are as well, or, or your local streaming site or subscription service that you've got. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please check my little links on screen now. Uh, follow me on Twitter or friend me on Facebook. I, I try to follow everyone. I, every couple of days I check and follow everyone back and friend everyone back. So I do little reviews on, on Facebook and Twitter as well that uh, we don't do vlogs for and stuff like that. So put some in, I try and put some interesting stuff on there as well. And please, if you can have a look at my little website, moviegamenostalgia.com for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s and some board games on there as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. And if you don't buy anything, don't worry, just helps my foot fall and my get me up the search ladder 
the more people follow the links and go on to the go on to the site so that'd be a great help either way anyway thanks very much for watching until we do meet again for another little movie review or a tv drama review or information vlog please stay safe everyone whatever you're going to do the rest of your day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your family and let's all look after each other and i'll see you all again very soon hopefully thanks for watching Bye bye